I was just about to come out here and stretch my legs, take a little break from work, and I see a question from Nick Jenkins, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, just answer his question. Uh, he has back problems, or back pain. He does not uh, have herniated disc or anything like that. Um, seems to be a muscular issue, particularly with his uh, psoas major, right? So it's like a deep muscle in the abdomen. And it goes all the way down. Let me see if I can kind of... <laughs> all the way down into the pelvis it kind of like wraps around like a little bit on the inside there and kind of just comes up here and there's like a deep kind of belly of muscle kind of behind uh what we would call like the six pack or whatever it's a very deep muscle inside of there and of course it goes on like either side into the pelvis there kind of like a diamond um, that is an issue a lot of people have, man. A lot of people have very tight, weak, and inflexible psoas muscles. Now, what do you do about it, you know what I mean? If that's causing you a lot of back pain, and you're pretty sure that's the culprit, there's all kinds of things you can do. My general recommendation is going to be the same, same recommendation that I speak of when I talk about, like, uh, blood flow training, when I talk about, like, active stretching, you know, if I have any kind of, like, elbow or, like, wrist or finger hand issues, I'm getting into that rice box, right, because that, to me, a rice bucket, I have a box, but <laughs> most people use, like, a bucket of rice, that, to me, is, like, the easiest way to get a huge pump and huge uh, ranges of motion in all directions with resistance, right? That uh, circumferential resistance, kind of similar to water aerobics, right? Anywhere you move, you're going to be met with a little bit of resistance. That is going to help pump you up as much as possible in all directions, your forearm, your wrist, your hand, and it's going to help stretch and strengthen you in every direction you go. So, that is how I stay healthy in the elbow, the wrist, the hand, the fingers. What can we do about the psoas that is similar, right? That's a, that's a good question. I think one of the best things to do is mountain climbers. Okay, and when I do mountain climbers, there was a video a while back where I did this. Um, I don't just stay straight all the time. Sometimes I do, but I like to move around. Let me kind of show that real quick, maybe. So my phone down over here. Give this a shot, Nick. By the way, look at this. That's a good boy right there. So, your typical mountain climbers, right? You're in a plank position, and you're just going like this, you know? And this is probably the pace you want to start at before you start kind of making it more dynamic and quick. But, let's say you get to where... Take my freaking shoes off. This is easy, so you start kind of like running with it. Think about moving with it okay think about moving in like a semicircle basically with it that I find is a pretty good way to actively use and stretch the psoas muscles okay now, <laughs> you want to stretch them in other ways too. That's a good way to kind of pump it up. I would say after you do that, maybe a few minutes or something, 
get that initial pump and then get into that runner's stretch. To me, the runner's stretch is number one for keeping those hip flexors nice and stretchy. Okay, now I've shown this before, uh, even in the video I just posted a few minutes ago or like an hour ago. I guess I'll show it again just for the hell of it. I like to do this very dynamically as well. So I can hit all kinds of different angles of the muscle. And again, you know, similar to the rice box or rice bucket, I want to be met with resistance as I'm moving. I don't want to do these stretches uh, passively, you know what I mean? So let's say I get here, I might do some rocking, I might do some circles, you know what I mean? I might do, uh, I was doing like knee extensions last night, stuff like this. Okay. What's up, bud? I'm making a video. What are you doing? What are you doing? Now, you can also make it a little more intense by picking up an arm, you get some rotation, you know what I mean? Stuff like that, okay? Think about not just holding a stretch uh, passively or mindlessly. Think about getting in that position and moving around in that position. And I like... I like small movements as well as big movements, okay? The small movements you can do quicker. You can do, they're a little less harsh. You can kind of get, just like if I'm in that rice box doing little opening and closing my hands or little circles of the wrist, you can get a little bit of a pump too, okay? And this is gonna help strengthen those muscles as well as stretch them. So that would be my advice, Nick, if you have some pretty serious issues with that muscle, then start off kind of easy. Start off with, uh, you know, small, again, small ranges of motion. And focus on getting a pump in those hip flexors. Of course, you're going to be working all kinds of other muscles, too. And that's another thing. Even when I do the rice box, when I get to a certain point... <laughs> I'm using way more muscles than just like my hand or wrist. I'm kind of incorporating my entire body into the exercise, okay? Same thing with the mountain climbers, same thing with the runners. Excuse me, I got hiccups. Same thing with the runner stretch. You want to incorporate the entire body, okay? Work the body as a unified machine, okay? Don't just think about it like, I know you're a bodybuilder, but you're also a strength guy, so you should understand this, you know. Some people, some beginners in bodybuilding, for instance, might think, okay, I'm going to do curls, that's only going to work my biceps. But, guys who are advanced or maybe into more like strength training, really pushing how much they can lift, know that you can do heavy bicep curls. And if you're going hard, man, doing, like, triples, double singles, you're using every freaking thing you have in your body to freaking lift that weight. Obviously, the biceps and, like, the wrist flexors are probably doing the bulk of the work, but everything's tensing up when you're lifting that heavy weight. Okay, same thing with stretching. Obviously, it doesn't need to be that high of intensity. Can be if you wanted to be, but incorporate the entire body moving as one unit, okay? Get unified. And eventually, man, for me, it took like two freaking years to get out of my back pain and to be healed of my herniations. You don't have herniations, so it might take you less time, but it might take some time to kind of figure out what works for you. Try those two things. When how it goes, man. Um, you're a young guy. You should be able to bounce back pretty quickly from this kind of, like, injury or pain or whatever it is. Um, but I'm thinking, man, 
again, that good general advice for any kind of uh, rehabilitation for muscle injury or pain is just easiest pump as possible, lots of movement, and you know, don't think big, think small and pumpy. Maybe think big as you kind of advanced and get used to the exercise, you can get bigger. Or if you're like super warmed up, you can get bigger. But I'm thinking if you're already like tight and kind of like pain in this area, the big motions are what you should avoid actually. Anyway, this is my opinion. Hopefully I can help you out, man. Help some other people out too. Everybody's got psoas issues, man, because they're all like sitting down, being fucking lazy and shit. <laughs> or if they're like you, the opposite of lazy, they're like lifting heavy. Maybe they strained themselves and just never had the chance to uh, recover from that. You just keep kind of re injuring and just kind of just have that chronic pain in that area. But yeah, man, pump it up. Small movements, lots of small movements, lots of volume. Maybe those bigger movements, bigger stretches, deeper stretches can come later, is my advice. Take it easy. Peace. Here's one more thing to think about, man. Look at this. Look at all these vegetables. All these spices. Think about your diet, bro. Think about supplements. What can you take? What can you consume to help with an inflammation? Because here's the thing. Look at that. Some CBD. What else I got? Fish oil. I don't take these regularly, but I do take them uh, when I feel like I have a little bit of uh, unusual, you know, out of the ordinary inflammation. They do help, you know what I mean? Think about your diet. Again, the psoas is deep in the abdomen, and those abdominal muscles are affected by your diet. So is there something in your diet that is causing inflammation that you can remove from your diet to benefit you? Is there something you can add to your diet or maybe a supplement, a supplement you can take that can decrease your inflammation? Are you consuming, let's say, turmeric? Okay, turmeric powder. Are you consuming ginger? Are you using these? When you're cooking your soups and things like that, um, what about what about chili powder? What about garlic? You know what I mean? What about cayenne? All these things uh, will decrease inflammation in the body. Let me think. What else we got around here? I think I have cumin somewhere. Uh, that's another good one. Even things, simple things like eating a lot of bell peppers that have like vitamin C, even that can help decrease inflammation. And here's the thing, man, when your inflammation is decreased, that's gonna make those stretches and those exercises more potent because you're gonna be moving a lot better when you're not so sore all the time. Uh, here's another thing, you know what I mean? Water, I gotta drink more water. Drink a ton of water. You know, get, you know, make sure, look at your diet and make sure you're getting all the vitamins and minerals you need. And maybe you think about the ones like vitamin C in particular. Think about the ones that help decrease inflammation and get more of them, man. You know what I mean? Get it. What's the recommended daily value of vitamin C? I don't know get like four times that, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Start eating like a ton of green bell peppers, uh, oranges, apples, you know what I mean? Stuff like this. That might also help you out, brother. Anyway, I think that's all I got, bro. Try that stuff. Let me know how it goes. But really, just keep keep experimenting and find, find, find what, works, what works for you. Sorry, I'm kind of stuttering right now. <laughs> find what works for you. And just, once you find something that works well, hammer it, dude. Like, on the daily, if you can.
even multiple times per day. You can work up to like multiple times per day, like every four, five hours. Try to hammer in even a few minutes of that useful exercise. And over time, it's going to help you overcome that pain, that injury, that whatever it is that's causing your psoas to lock up. Okay? Anyway, dude, have a good one. Peace.